All right, what are we doing today, bro? All right, I'm gonna do a one and a half on top, low tape on the sides and back. You still want to show the C cups? Definitely. Uh, take the beard down, and take about halfway off, but still keep the shape of really thin on the cheeks, mm -hmm. but more prominent on the chin. And you can dramatically fade the beard in, so I like the fade to go all the way. Okay, cool, but you want to still keep it as wide as possible, though, right, Ty? Keep that line as wide as possible. Go from there, bro. All right, back. Yo, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Beam, and today we got one of them bangers on my dog, man. If you able to watch this video through and through, you're going to be overly whelmed by the result to how this haircut is going to come out. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell to get alerted when new videos come out, and let's get it. So I'm gonna go in by combing my client's hair. Combing my client's hair, bringing everything for setting myself up. Y'all know it's time, y'all know it's time to rock and roll. So, you know, we gotta go ahead and lift all of the hair up just so we can pass the guard through and through, all the way through the client's head and get clean passes to get the hair down to that one desired length. My next step is to go in with that one and a half completely open and I'm gonna go with his wave pattern and with the pattern that his hair lays just to ensure that I can get that hair down consistently. You wanna get consistent, clean, you know, passes through the hair just to make sure that all of the hair will lay down correctly and that you don't patch him and that you keep everything, you know, consistent for it to get to that desired length. Shout out to my dog, Germ, to this beat, different. I wanna go in using my trimmers towards the bottom of the C cup area. And as you guys can see, he wanted a low ball taper. And he really want me to exaggerate the fadeness into his beard. So you know, that's what we gonna do. We gonna set up clean guidelines first out the gate, hitting the bottom of the tape area just to make sure that we get everything right. And then I'ma bring in and clean up everything. I'ma basically drop this guideline about almost an uh, inch and a half to two inches just to give myself enough room, you know, to really exaggerate that taper area and to give it that nice clean faded taper look you know then I'm gonna go in completely open about a half of an inch and I'm gonna play around in this area and that's fully open I'm just taking my time now I'm gonna go in completely open using my 116 garden as you guys can see i'm just slowly but surely taking some of this hair off not doing too much drop them halfway here just so i can bring the blend a little bit more together and then i'm gonna go with the grain just so i can you know smoothing it out now back against the grain completely closed hitting the bottom of that tape area as you guys can see me doing this the taper is coming out beautiful Just going back and forth against the grain and with the grain is getting me a more smoother transition you know i wanted to just add some different things you know in the midst of this and, and bring you guys all the way together now completely closed again we're using the edge of the teeth of my blade just to make sure that i could just stay in the same realm because it's all about hitting these specific hairs to really bring that transition together and get everything together and as you guys can see it's coming together slowly but surely I want to go completely close using my clippers and as you guys can see I'm just nudging hitting the bottom of the hairs just so I can bring this taper all the way together then slowly open them up halfway here and as you guys can see just using the corner teeth of my blade and working out just in this small pocket when I work out in a small pocket it's allowing me to create that transition that I'm trying to get for you guys but it's also giving me a nice clean bursted look so I can make sure that I satisfy this client towards the end of it um, and now I just want to go in detail using um, my babeless clipper completely open and really just hit them hairs like this this one of my dogs named KB he work at one of our locations uh, we had a couple barbers that cut him and I kind of know how he wants to cut so you know I'm just trying to live up to the expectations and bring everything all the way together and that's what we doing y'all know what we do when we get on Beam channel it's a different level of special you know we take it to a different level cause that's just what we are that's who we are and that's you know that's how we step and that completely open about another inch 
and then I'm gonna drop them halfway right here. And as you guys can see, slowly but surely, drop them fully closed. And as you guys can see, I'm just in this pocket. I'm in this realm to where everything is just consistent. And as a barber, as an upcoming barber, when you are doing these things, I understand I got a lot of DIY moms and dads who cut their kids' hair who following me. Um, sometimes it's a little bit fast. Sometimes it's a little bit more advanced. But I promise, it's step by step. Anytime you see me working with a clipper, I'm telling you guys, open, close, halfway. And I'm showing you guys the guard system as well for anybody to be able to do this. I'm trying to make the most complex things the easiest things for you guys to understand. So with that being said, you know, just keep rocking out with me. Keep practicing. I promise you're gonna be you're gonna be good enough and now i want to get myself about three inches because as you guys can see look how you know look how much nape area this client has you got to bring that line all the way up you want to taper you want to taper in the back nape area to stick out really good because you got so much hair coming down his neck you gotta lift that taper area to really show that drastic taper and that's what i'm doing right here i use about three inches cut all of that hair off and we finna get busy we finna lock in we finna take the taper to another level so as you guys can see we got our straight line and now we finna go ahead we just gonna edge the bottom of it just and then go completely open and that's about a whole inch right here so we're going completely open the whole inch right here and when we go open on this we giving ourselves some room to create that contrast and as you guys can see, I dropped them completely closed here, just hitting the edge of the line. And never it's closed, it's the close, it's the closest that the clipper can cut. So you always edging at the line. Now halfway right here, and you go up a little bit more of that line, and you slowly creating that transition. Open them up a little bit more, and slowly creating that transition. So as you guys can see, anytime I flip the clipper to the side, I'm hitting the lever as well to to open them up some to create that transition. That's all that I'm doing. So it's nothing special. It's reps. It's an advanced system technique technique that I learned how to do myself and this is something that I want you guys to get into when you guys are fading like to me fading is the hardest part of it lining is the easiest part because that's what I learned first um but we gonna extend it over here completely open and I'm gonna drop them halfway here and now I'm gonna drop them completely closed as you guys seen I faded from bottom to top on the left side and then I just faded from top to bottom on the right side and still brung it together because when you know your system and you know exactly where you at no matter what you do the tape is gonna come out beautiful and as you guys can see we just did this from <laughs> top to bottom so now we completely close with the 116 guard slowly but surely just hitting the edges now we're gonna go halfway and we're gonna bring them up some right here not fully closed and as you guys can see we got everything coming together man and it's just looking beautiful bro looking crazy now with the grain some and as you guys can see right here it's looking crazy same steps over here completely open and then we just gonna drop them slowly but slow okay look so and as you guys can see we just open them up some more as well just to hit the opposite side now you're gonna see me drop them here halfway and i'm playing in between that level more transition drop them all the way close here and as you guys can see look look how we was able to create a clean taper with all of that nape area that was hanging over all it is it's like i said it's knowing your system and bringing it all together so now we get to the right side and man 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 i want y'all to know i want y'all to understand one thing man um you know, no matter what you're doing in life, bro, you're going to have way, way, way more people um, in terms of what you see through social media hate on you than the people that show you love. I want y'all to understand and know one thing. If a person ain't hating, if a person ain't speaking bad on you, if a person ain't doing nothing crazy, you know, then you ain't doing nothing right. And I want y'all to understand, you know, we live in a social media time frame where a lot of people are not built for the internet. I want y'all to understand and know that the people that's talking mess, the people that's talking crazy to y'all the people that get under my videos and talk super crazy you know we have fun with those type of people them the type of people that we laugh at because at the end of the day when somebody sees so many wrongs in the things that you're doing to try to make up so many wrongs or look at the flaws that you got going on and what you doing 
you know, it's because they got something going on within themselves that they just not willing to speak to somebody about. And that's the understanding, you know, you have to understand that when somebody trying to see flaw in you is because they see it in themselves and they can't and they can't figure out how to fix it. So it's so many people, you know, who want to bring you down because misery love company. And with that being said, you know, you take it all as motivation. You take it as fuel to your fire. You continue to step. And that's what we do. You know, YouTube ain't never been easy. Instagram ain't never been easy. You get your fair share of haters, but I'm built for it. And if you built for it, you're going to see it through. So keep walking. Keep stepping. Keep marching. Keep putting up the shots. That's We, we cut for this. So I want to go in, man. Charlotte, September 10th. Washington, D.C., September 24th, man. All of my real supporters that's out here that's watching my YouTube videos. If you in the D.C. area, man, go to Tune45.com, click the events tab, and hit the D.C. button, you know, to go in there and buy you a ticket to the D.C. class. If you in Charlotte for September 10th, go to Tune45, hit the events tab, and, you know, hit the Charlotte tab. Me and Sean will be teaching advanced haircutting systems in these classes to take you guys to the next level. Even if you come in just to meet us, Pull up and meet us. It's going to be super dope. You know, the door is open and welcome to everybody. We're going to have fun. We're going to show y'all a lot of new things. So come lock in with us. Come have fun. So let's get to it. I want to go into my nape area. And as you guys can see, I'm going to do my verticals immediately. I'm doing my verticals immediately. Then I'm shifting to the corner of my blade to work myself all the way around the ear and just staying consistent through and through. And when I'm doing things like this, it's allowing me to take my cuts to the next level because this is my frame at work and that back of the beard. Y'all know what's important for me. I've been teaching y'all this for years. I do the nape area. I do the back of the beard area. And I need both my verticals to line up and drop straight down and leave the ear in the middle because that's just what I see. That's how I always cut hair. I'm hitting the nape area again. Strictly verticals. And as you guys can see, my trimmer spit in that crack line. It's because my client washed his hair. It's because my trimmers are sharp. It's because I use a little bit of that hole and spray. Right? And that's just what happened. On a clean canvas, you gonna get that white crack line. And as you guys could tell, it's ugly. Back of the beard line now. Always nape area, back of the beard, and we keep rolling. Now I wanna go in. I wanna hit my first vertical bar. When I hit this vertical bar, I wanna establish it. Now I wanna establish my second vertical bar. I establish my second vertical bar. Now I wanna recenter the client's head. And as you guys can see, look, it's all over the place, but we start in that middle and work ourselves all the way to the left. I don't wanna push my client back and looking at so many YouTubers, so many other barbers, people would've pushed them all the way back to the darkest spots because it's a different level of being professional and it's a different level of being an artist in this game to bring somebody all the way back to life without out ruining a hairline y'all know me i've been stepping in the name of love when it comes to these hairlines and that's what we do we stay focused we're gonna bring my boy all the way together and whether the hair is there or not you always use your imagination as if the hair is there because that's what real artists and that's what true professionals do you don't just dig in somebody's hair and hide your way with somebody's hair because that's how you lose clients that's how you get bad reviews that's how you you know doing your thing it's going to make a client not like you because you're doing too much. This is a client who specifically said, you know, I want you to line up even the lighter areas of my hair as if it's hair there. And with that being said, we're going to get a client that. I want to go in with my Beam Team Coilers Compressor. I want to go in with my uh, No Drip and my car. And the best part about this color, this color is completely waterproof. So we want to fill in some of these lighter spots, give them some dense, give them some density, and bring everything together. This is my foundation. It's my foundation of waterproof. This is going to allow his color to stay five to seven days and with that being said when you got a pure system like that you can go and stack with hair building fibers this is what fibers are good for even though that they're temporary you always use a waterproof or you use a base under the fibers and then you throw the fibers on top to create more of that elusive look because fibers can build on top of themselves and they can they can be you know on top of the foundation protecting the foundation which is the waterproof base which is allows these clients to have this color for five to seven days now i go back in and i retap it after hitting it with some hole and spray just to bring it all the way together because i want to make sure that the lining is exactly where i need it to be i'm not pressing you know we're just making sure everything come together beautifully and look at that lineup bro like that's that's
that's being an artist that's being professional that's being a barber that's what that is you know and i want all of my people that's watching me that's upcoming barbers to be able to do these same things and same tricks i want to go in now using my tune 45 precision pack pencil most important thing throughout my lineup is to bring that pop, is to bring that flair. And like I told y'all, they don't need this at all. But this is for my Kodak moments, it's for the videos. This is to push the haircut to another realm. This is shape shifting, and y'all know what shape shifting is for me. Like I'm taking it to another level. That's what I'm always gonna do. So as you guys can see, I'm just you know putting these lines there, then I'm going in with my trimmer and I'm spreading and hitting the color to create that contrast and make it bounce off his skin to really get that pop, to get that flood get that flash and y'all see it like it's there it's there it's super there like as you guys can see this it's there it's there guys now i want to go in at the top of the beard using my color and using the application brush and i basically want to frame out the beer area with me framing out the beer area framing out this beer is going to allow me to give my clients some more dense look but a more fuller a more richer look to match the top part of his hair to really allow that bursted taper area to live in this name and to be bursted into you know how that heavy fadeness to his beard because this is what we do this is what you this is what we do when we come to beam channel it's nothing but a high level of precision we using color we using you know all of these other services that allow you to create more money and more revenue behind a chair but this also helps a specific amount of clients some of these clients don't have the strongest lineup some of these clients don't have the strongest beards some of these clients don't need this color don't need any of this but this is what they prefer and as a professional if you telling me that you're not willing to add some of these services behind your chair then you cheating yourself and you not being true to the profession. It's not about what we like as barbers. It's about what our clients like and we gonna do it and we gonna satisfy every client that walk in that door to keep the reviews up, to keep the amount of revenue that we make behind the chair and to always have the highest level of client satisfactory. This is what I come from. I come from this. So with that being said, we're going to hit the lip area and the inside of the mustache and the outside area. And we just prepping it and prepping this beard. And as you guys can see, without me even lining the beard, using that color, gave the beard its line up already. It's about making the job easier. We pick the beard out and then we finna go over the beard and just make sure that we shape it correctly and keep it still poofy and heavy towards the bottom and bring everything together. And as you guys can see, this is beautiful, man. It's beautiful, and I ain't even put a line on the beard yet. This beautiful. Now I'm hitting the bottom of the neck area, cleaning this area up, and as you guys can see, that soft area behind the beard, he normally gets it rounded on the edges, so I took it off right there and gave it that round look, and as you guys can see, that's more manly, that's more consistent. That's, ooh, this is crazy, bruh. Like, I'm looking at this one. Like, I did this haircut maybe like two, two, three months ago. And it's just now making it to YouTube. This is crazy. So, I stretch the skin, angle that, raise at a 45 degree angle, and bring everything back to that top line. And as you guys can see, I'm taking my time, not doing too much, but bringing everything to the line. Look how sharp he is. Look how crispy he is. Like, look how much fuller that beard. Look. This is, this is 97. This is, this is Octane. It's premium. It's gas. Glacier Gang, y'all know what time it is. We in the comments. We standing up. We locked in, man. And I'm just, I'm so happy, man. Y'all know this thing with this bell palsy, but me being able to get you guys content at this level and break it down at this level just got me super, super, super happy because this is a beautiful haircut, bro. This is a beautiful haircut. You can't, like, you can't ask for more. It's consistent. The taper there, the lining is ridiculous. The client looks relaxed 100%. The barber looks intact, looks professional, looks like an artist keeping his gloves on, you know, slowly but surely hitting the clients with the razor. And as you guys could just see, I'm in my world. Like, I'm having fun. I'm doing what I know how to do best. And that's the best part about it. Like, everybody got something that they good at. And when you learn how to nail it, you you living and you stepping in the name of love just like this. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm doing this for the love of the game. That's who I am.
This is who Beam is. If you never knew who I was, if this is your first time watching me as a barber, yes, I'm going to talk through this video. Yes, I'm going to educate. Yes, I'm going to show you guys how to take haircuts to another level. I'm going to show you how to be professional. I'm going to show you how to be an artist. But most importantly, I'm going to show you how to satisfy every client that come and sit in that chair. And that's a fact. And as you guys can see, I got him icy. This ice right here. This is professional. This is ice. Glacier. It's unfortunate that we get clients that come in a shop looking crazy by the hair, but as barbers, it's up to us to change that outcome. Without further ado, we gotta be professional, we gotta be artists, we gotta apply all of those advanced haircut and system techniques with every client that sits in our chat. Without further ado, let's lock in. Hashtag TBT in that comment section, hashtag Glacier Gang, hashtag Glass. Y'all know what time it is. It's 2023. It's yeah, everything. Let's prove them wrong. Let's show them who we are. Let's show what we've been doing. Y'all know if you was able to make it through this video, I appreciate you. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, hit that notification button, and may God bless. All right, well, let me know what you think. Sheesh. Bro. See the master man. Yeah. Actually, you can tell, bro. Man, that's so crispy. Bro, that view is amazing. <laughs> Ain't gonna lie, that's my favorite pick, bro. I wish I can, like, screenshot this right here, bro. Mm. Hold up. Let me turn you just a little bit. All right, cool. Definitely. I'll go screenshot that and send that to you. Yeah, less, bro. I appreciate that. All right, right bro. I agree with him. Yeah, that's icy, bro. That's crazy.